Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Today we will continue to focus on the History Challenge. The History Challenge is a legacy style challenge in The Sims that takes your Sims on a journey through history. Starting with the Stone Age, there are a lot of rules to this challenge and I'll put links to them in the description box below. If this sounds like something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Let's make some Sims history. In our last episode, Ed grew up when nobody was paying any attention because he grew up and he is now a child. He was been he's been given some chores and he is doing the weeding out here. Og was fishing. He's getting pretty hungry. He's heading back to the homestead. And is fixated with grandma's room. Does he feel some sort of comfort when he's in grandma's room? He's playing with his horse toy. I don't know where he got that from, but he's working on his imagination right now. But it looks like he's all out of imagination. So he's he's done doing that. And he's putting the the toy. I didn't know you could put things on the shelf. We're not doing that. Ben. Ben had another toy in his inventory and it's gone so I don't know where he lost it or maybe he put it on a shelf and I don't know where it is. And he was supposed to be working on his creativity. Perhaps he'll read a book. We are in the early civilization era and books are allowed. We'll have him read about the first unicorn. Og is an independent sim and he learns better when he does things by himself. So he's going potty. He'll probably be level three really soon because he's going potty unsupervised. Isle is really hungry. She knows that probably the rest of the family is getting as hungry as well. She is making some fried fish for the family. Ilsa was just taking care of baby Flint and in our last episode she discovered that she was pregnant and eating for two. She'll be going into her second trimester in 18 hours. We're gonna have to think about her going off to Granite Falls but not right now. Right now she is gonna go clean up the cup that somebody left on the floor. It looks like Og has reached potty level three. Kyle's gonna grab a fish for herself because she is getting hungry and I do do not know if the starvation bug has been fixed yet. I did have a sim die in a game save that I was playing for myself. He died of starvation. He got out of bed and was trying to go eat and he just died on the way to the refrigerator. But I don't want to run the risk of that happening in this game save. So everybody seems to be grabbing fish while it's hot off the grill. It must be some of the fish that Og caught because Og was working on his aspiration earlier. His posture is looking pretty bad so I don't know if age is getting to him. Ends out here weeding and he's gonna need to go get some food because his hunger bar is starting to go down and I don't want him dying just when he's grown up. So after he's done weeding this plant he's gonna go get some of the fish that his grandmother made. Kyle is done with her food. She was very very hungry. Uh, we're gonna have her come over here and scrap that woodwork. She has been so busy doing everything else that she hasn't been able to work on the handiness. Little baby Og is coming in. He is looking at everybody sitting at table that Isle has made. He was trying to watch Isle, but Isle's gone. And it does appear that he's getting pretty hungry. Og isn't going to finish the food on his plate, so little baby Og is going to eat the rest of the fish. Og knows that Ilsa has been, has a lot on her plate, and he's going to go check on the baby. He knows that she just went over there and took care of the baby, but, you know, she's pregnant again, and she's got to take care of her own needs. So he's in here rocking the baby, giving it some attention. He knows that the other babies they had, they didn't get as much attention as they should have. So he's going to step up and try to give them more attention. Ilsa is coming on over to take care of the plants as it is part of her chores. When she is done with the weeding, she's going to go over, she'll collect the eggs and she'll take care of the chickens. The chickens have been neglected. One of the chickens was thinking about running away. Oh, I can't believe that mom's going to have another baby. Yeah, we're not going to have enough room for everybody in these huts. I mean, I know I just grew up and there's more space in the baby hut, but I can't believe you grew up. I'm so excited. Excited. Now I have someone my own age to play with. And you could help me clean up all the dishes. I was doing all the dishes cleaning by myself. It was making me so mean and nasty. I was always cleaning up trash. And now you can eat real, like, big kid food and pieces of bread with cheese on it. And it's feeling really inspired. He wants to swim around, but he is pretty stinky. You know that swimming doesn't really help hygiene. He's going to go take a regular bath. Og is very excited because he sees his two brothers talking and he wants to talk. Air is a really bad color. I can't stand. I don't remember what it is. Is it the same color that's on lips? No, that's just crazy. It looks like Ilsa has 
finished doing her chores. We're going to send her off to bed. Arl is such a pro at doing handiness that she's uh, already finished. She's coming in to check on baby Flint. It looks like he's got a dirty nappy. She saw that Ilsa was really tired, so she's stepping up and doing the grandma thing. She is going to pull a bladder full of milk out of the waistband of her, her pants there and feed the baby and possibly rock the baby so that Ilsa doesn't have to get up and breastfeed the baby. Looks like there is a little chicken over here. Og sees the little chick that hatched out of the hatchable egg and he doesn't know if it's been fed so he's scattering feed around. Babu is uh, very protective of the baby rooster but he notices the food and he's like oh well I'll eat the food. Oh, you don't look like a bat at all. Can you fly yet? Those wings are a little stubby. Yeah, it's quite a while till you can fly. Uh, little Ra, that's the name of the rooster, uh, loves the attention. And while he's taking care of the rooster, he notices that there's some bugs on the plant, so he's going to come over and help out with the gardening. He knows his wife is supposed to be gardening, but she was really, really tired. He had seen her over at the vegetable garden, but she missed the flower garden over here. But he's taking care of the bugs over here by spraying some potion that Isle had made to keep the bugs away on the plants. Isle is feeling a little bit sick. She might be coming down with something. She does have a headache and she does have a severe cough and it does look like she's got the stumpy flu. She is contagious so she's gonna have to stay away from her daughter who's pregnant. She's gonna go use the rock and then I'll have her take a nap. And that should help her combat her illness because we can't use medicine. They don't have that sort of medicine around yet. Everybody seems to be busy and after Og is done spraying these bugs perhaps he can practice some magic. Because Ben is inside the hut he's not gonna see him practicing magic. Even though he did hint at Ben that he would love to teach him how to do magic. Ben is not showing signs of being a spellcaster. You know, there's really funny things you can do with food. You could paint with food. I painted with food once. They almost locked me up in my room and told me that the dinosaurs were going to eat me. So I stopped painting with the fruits and vegetables on the walls of the hut. So don't paint on the walls of the hut with fruits and vegetables, Og. You'll just get in trouble. I do what I want because I'm Og. Og was going to do some some magic out here but he thought better of it he's gonna go check on his son I think he's and it's probably about time that he goes to bed he did see Isle going to bed Ben is really fixated on this horse toy and he keeps avoiding going to the bathroom Ben's out here and he's playing in the bathtub the bathtub looks like it had an overhaul. It looks really, really nice. This is not what the bathtub used to look like. I think when Og repaired it, he made it look even better than it was supposed to be. Oh, there's Ben's toy. Og is going to read little baby Og to sleep. He's feeling really exasperated because he's chasing this child around. So he, he did notice that Og was tired. He was argumentative. He didn't want to be put to bed. Okay, let's get you in a story, put you to sleep before your mother finds out that you're wandering around. Stories about the dinosaurs! There was so much treasure out in the world that the dinosaurs were looking for. They looked here and there, but the dinosaurs could not find any treasure. The space spirits came down from the sky and had taken all of the treasure. And that is why the dinosaurs couldn't find any. Babu is asking for some sweets. They don't have any animal treats. And is feeling sad because people forgot his birthday. At least he thinks they did. They There was a weenie roast for his birthday. Ben's come over to check on N. He didn't know where he went. Did grandmother tell you about the stone goddesses? That they live on this land and they, you know, I had a birthday and nobody even remembered that I was supposed to grow up. So don't talk to me about the stone goddesses. If the stone goddesses were real, people would have had a party for me and they would have seen me grown up. Because Ben listened to an event about the lack of a growing up day party, there was a sentiment that was gained. N feels glad that Ben listened to him complain. Ben Ben says, yeah, I hear you. Ben wants to make sure they're present when having conversations and making sure that everyone is heard. And he loves chatting with his brother. So this brother he likes, he doesn't really like baby Flint because he thinks that there's too many brothers in the family. It is Flint's birthday. The time just flies by, doesn't it? Og realizes that it is Flint's birthday. He is going to age up little baby Flint. With magic. 
I'll cast magic on Flint, and that will make him grow up to be strong and fit. This is the blessing of the fire spirit, Flint. And Isle's coming in to watch little baby Flint grow up. Flint has aged up. Ah, toddler's days spent playing with toys, exploring the world, learning to communicate with words instead of tears await. This is the perfect time to start skill building for the future. He is a sleeper. These sims sleep a lot and they get tired often. He's sort of like his namesake in that because Flint who he's named after was always taking naps. So this is little baby Flint. He can wear that grass skirt, but he can't wear a top and he cannot wear socks. We'll put the sandals on him. We'll have him wear the tan and green sandals. Maybe he will wear this bottom. He will wear these sandals in white. We'll do this top. Actually, no, we're not going to do the grass skirt. We'll do the grass skirt for hot weather wear or something like that. So we'll do the little pants. We'll just change the color to terracotta color. We can give him one of the skin nappies and no shoes and party wear. He'll wear the little shorts and he will wear the little custom content top. He can wear the tan and green shoes and swimwear. Well, swimwear has to wear one of these little bottoms. So we'll just do the same bottom that he wears to sleep in. Hot weather wear. Now this is where we can wear the grass skirt and no shoes. And for the cold weather wear, he has to wear the full bodied skin because that's all we have for children right now. We do the bare feet. He's not inheriting wavy hair. Or... Let's take a look at his teeth. And he didn't get any of the strange gelcaster teeth. And he didn't get his uh, father's eyes. He got his mother's eyes. So this is Flint Simbilis. This is his everyday wear. This is his formal wear. This is his sleep wear. This is his party wear. This is his swim wear. This is his hot weather wear. And this is his cold weather wear. Flint has grown up and he is now a toddler. There are three boys who the fathers were spellcasters. Not one of the three boys has shown signs of being a spellcaster. Now the baby hut is getting a little bit crowded. Perhaps we add on to the baby hut. We're going to add on a room in the back for the bigger boys. We won't have enough money to paint the walls or do the floors yet. I can look through their inventories and see if we can sell anything. We have something on the wall over here, so we have to move that. We'll put the uh, light right there, and we are trying to put an archway in over here. So we're going to put Ben's bed in here, and we'll move this baby bed over here. We're going to move the wall shelf in the boys' room, and we'll make a copy of this bed. We're going to put the toddlers on this wall under the one-eyed watcher. But these dirt frogs are only 10 simoleons. He does have a lot of them, but they aren't bringing in a lot of money. This one is a leaf frog. Leaf frogs aren't a lot. Okay, what does he have? This one's 10 simoleons as well. So we're just trying to get up our funds a little bit so we can put some paint on the wall. Put the same paint on the wall. And let's see if we can put some stone on the floor. The hut that the, the matriarch of the Symbolist clan resides in is getting bigger. So the children are connected to where the matron lives instead of being connected to the one where their parents live. So we're going to change the way this roof is. And we'll drag it out this way, and we'll bring it this way. I mean, it looks sort of like a barn right now. <laughs> We're going to lower it a little bit, the pitch of it, to bring this up. It looks sort of like a long house. We can leave that front out like that. I'd like to put an edging on that. So putting fringe on all the hats. There we go. It was looking a little bit strange. There is some clipping going on there, but I'm not I'm not minding it. It looks better than the white that was going on there. This is the expanded children and baby hut. Eventually, all the buildings might connect. This is their first major addition to the huts. Since they built the first baby hut, so they are expanding. We can expand the walls when we have some more funds, but they, they get that through selling fish and selling any of the frogs they breed. They just had fictitious bills, so that took some of their money. Flint is very hungry. He just grew up and it 
took a lot of energy to do that. There is some fish that Isle made earlier that he can go grab a serving on. I've got two talent points because he has been practicing magic. So let's see what we can assign his two talent points to. He was gaining magic through practicing it. Og is an experimenter. When experimenting in practice, Sims gain experience faster and with less failures. But he did fail and he did become cursed. Discharge. The Sim can now discharge, which empties the spellcaster charge. We could do that. That's one, one perk. Insightful art. Researching, experimenting, and tome reading speeds are all greatly increased. We'll do that and we'll apply them. Now, because he has no teacher and he is the first spellcaster, he has to learn magic through experimenting. Ilsa's pregnancy seems to be irritating her stomach. She's not feeling so great. She's feeling nauseous. She should probably eat some more strawberries. We have a problem that even though she eats the strawberries, it has not been affecting her ability to have a baby girl. She's still having baby boys and she is hysterical. Ben is done eating his food. He is going to clean up his plate like a good boy. He's very good at doing his chores. It is having a hard time. Time walking over. I mean, he just grew up. His movement skills aren't that great. He just acquired the movement skill. Ilsa notices that Flint is no longer a baby and that he's a toddler. Ilsa and Flint have gained a sentiment. Ilsa is happy to have welcomed Flint into the world and is able to hold him close. And now that he is a toddler, Ilsa feels close to Flint from good times and happy memories. She's watching him eat. Yeah. We should probably start teaching you how to go potty. We don't want you having an accident. People will laugh at you for soiling your nappy. Going potty is very, very important. I cannot sing the praises of learning to go potty enough. Og thinks that's hilarious because Isle told him the story about how Ilsa was not properly potty trained. But Og did notice that Ben was cleaning the dishes up like a pro. He's going to encourage him. That's really great. You're learning to clean. I'm not the only one working on keeping this place from looking trashy. Wow, that means I'll have some help around here. She doesn't really notice what he's doing. She's so engrossed in this thing called a book. Og is feeling a little ill. He might be catching something from Isle. He's exposed from being near a sick sim. There's a chance that the sim will get sick. So we're going to send him off to rest. Have him take a nap. He also can't believe that her baby just grew up and she missed it. She's looking at Ben. She's like, wow, my boys are all growing up. I remember when I gave birth to them. Now they're like on their way to being young men. Here comes N. He grew up yesterday. Yesterday. No, but he is hired. We're gonna send him off to sleep. Isle is loving this thing called the book. It's making her very, very focused. Nice read. Good news. Isle finds peace in reading books. So this new invention of books and lettering is something that Isle really, really is into. Isle has come a long, long way. She was a Stone Age woman wearing furs. Now she's in this beautifully decorated room with plants and woven things on the floor and tapestries on her bed and she's wearing clothing and now she's reading books. I all knows how to move with the times. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our cricket house. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow the Simbilis family on their journey through the early civilization era. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.